Welcome, it's Robert McAtee. I just want to say a special thank you to everybody that has supported my music. We're just a grassroots thing here, available on iTunes and pretty much everywhere that music is sold. Filippo Ioko has been described as one of the most important and outstanding body painting artists of all time. His work covers an extraordinary range of styles and concepts. Groundbreaking, a combination of experience, understanding, inspiration, innovation, and courage that has kept his work in top demand for the past two decades. I've known Filippo for many years. He's a great friend. So far, we've done three album covers together. We wanted to share the concepts, some behind the scenes. So we talked recently. He was in Austria. I was here in Los Angeles. He had just come down with a really bad cold. How was it? Oh, it was really good. It was really good, as always. You know, a lot of uh, new artists, a lot of amazing body painting, just lots of creativity. The first album cover, An Afternoon in Paris in the Middle of the Night. Since most of the songs had something to do with love, we wanted to do something romantic, yet unique. Our first initial idea was we knew you were going to body paint me. But then somehow we got into this idea you know, with all these different uh, images, and then having her in an image whispering in your ear. People don't realize at first glance that's not a real shirt, that's paint. Yeah, glued on the buttons, uh, the cuffs, the shirt collar. Getting rid of all my chest hair, that product you recommended, it made my chest break out big time. Ah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Well, yes, this happens when you're not used to taking off your chest hair. All the details just grew and grew. I love the messy bed, the postmark. Yeah, everything just fits in really well. Everything works well. It was almost like we created a magic moment and captured it. What makes this picture really striking is also just the look that you have on your face. You know, it's like innocent, sexy mysterious, especially with her kind of like in that position as if she's going to whisper something in your ear, going to tap you on the shoulder or on the neck. Impasto. Lots of lyrics. A bit strange. The original idea was for me to be a jester and for there to be a little person as the devil that you were going to body paint. And in the background, we were going to have a Marie Antoinette. Exactly. Yeah, because we were trying to figure out when you sent me all the samples and I heard everything. The little devil is what came to mind. And I got the horns, I got the little pitchfork. It was impossible for me to find red stilettos for such a small person. So we didn't do that. But then we actually didn't do anything because he never even showed up. Yeah, we went back to the drawing board and I I really like what we came up with, that it suits the songs and the lyrics quite well. Actually, maybe even better than the devil idea. You know, and then we have Amina painted into this, uh, yeah, I like, you know, we left the, that side of her bare. I don't know, I, I think it, it gives it kind of like an interesting little twist. You know what I really like about this picture? I really like the lights behind you. You know, and, and I like kind of like the way your hair falls on your face. Almost like, you know, you're in a hurry. You know, the picture was sh just shot on a busy street. <laughs> yeah, I matched her, matched her to the pole. The challenge of lining her up perfectly to the light post. That was a challenge. Challenges here was the crowd <laughs> on Hollywood Boulevard. We constantly had to wait until it kind of cleared for you to do your thing. You know, one thing that I really liked the way that you did the lettering. Oh yeah, the lettering. Actually, I took photographs of neon signs all around Los Angeles. So every letter came from those photographs, including all the song titles, each letter was from a different sign. It was time consuming, but it paid off. Yeah, I, I really like what you did with the titles of the song, and it also kind of picks up on the, you know, the lights in the background of the cover. The Trail of Crumbs soundtrack. We wanted to do something different than the movie poster, but keep the title treatment 
There's lots of piano on the album. And actually in the movie, there's a, a bit of a piano theme throughout. Of course, you did this shoot last year while you were in Austria. The photo of me had to be taken here and then we combined them. Yeah, I think, you know, I came across a set of piano keys that were kind of like waving through the air. I thought, you know, this would look really cool painted on a back. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. I, you know, the one thing that I love so much about this are her fingers just lay on the piano so nicely. The look on your face, you know, just your whole attitude, I think really works well with the music. Music. Very somber, it's like you're thinking, you know, and and then she's in the back, you know, playing this piano, which like you said is all through the CD. The model that I worked with uh, for this shoot, her name is Carla, and I've worked with her many times before. She lives here in Austria. When we did the body painting and the shoot, you know, she was holding her baby, her child, holding her in her arm while I'm, you know, painting the, her back. And it was so difficult, you know, because obviously with the piano, there's a lot of line work. So I, you know, I kept telling her not to move. And of course she was, you know, moving because the baby was moving and... But in the end, you know, it came out beautiful. Well, Filippo, I look forward to many more album covers with you. Rob, you know, it's always a pleasure working with you. I like that you give me artistic freedom. Bright neon lights Cigarette smoke In a cold, empty night It's a cold, empty night I can't keep you on